As you're watching this video, thousands of kilometers beneath your feet, edging on the brink of alien and terrestrial, lies two vast structures with unknown origins. And scientists call them Earth blobs? Wait, did I read that correctly? Yep, that's it. These blobs have been a big geologic mystery that researchers believe are having an untold effect on our planet, and it's baffled scientists for over 40 years. So what do we know about them? Well, Earth blobs have picked up a rather unsciencey name because they look sort of blobby with round, soft edges. Scientists call them large, low shear velocity provinces because waves of energy slow down through these zones. But that's a mouthful, so let's just stick to Earth blobs for now. They're hidden underneath Earth's crust, like really, really deep at least a thousand kilometers deep. These blobs are so massive that if we move them to Earth's surface, the International Space Station would need to navigate around them. So to better understand these gigantic structures, we need to journey into the center of the Earth. They begin where Earth's mantle meets the outer molten core. In the 1970s, scientists discovered that one of the blobs sits under the Pacific Ocean, while the other one sits under Africa and part of the Atlantic Ocean. So we know their general location, and we know that these regions are different from the surrounding mantle material because seismic waves move through these massive regions slower than their surroundings. But there are still many unanswered questions. No one knows for sure where they came from, how long they've been around, or even what their role is on the planet. But, you know, scientists love a good mystery hidden deep within the Earth's crust. So it's been an ongoing debate ever since they were discovered 40 years ago with a whole range of ideas trying to explain their impact. One study has described them as plumes of hot, upwelling rock that connect to surface volcanoes to form island chains like Hawaii and Iceland. Another has speculated that the blobs are disrupting Earth's magnetic fields, and others have suggested that the blobs are connected to supervolcanoes that at one time caused extinction events. So yeah, the ideas run from the generally benign to the apocalyptic. And that's because scientists can't come to a unifying conclusion. It's impossible to reach these depths in one piece. Temperature and pressure would kill you. Scientists have to rely on a multitude of techniques to tell us what the interior looks like, and maybe even explain how these mysterious regions affect our planet. One way is with seismic tomography, a technique that helps us look below the crust by tracking and calculating seismic waves. This was how scientists actually discovered the blobs in the first place. But while the method revealed where the blobs are and how large they are, it can't really tell us much about their density. So one researcher turned to a new technique called tidal tomography to peer under Earth's crust. It uses sensitive GPS measurements to track Earth's body tides and can give us a better gauge of the blob's density. Preliminary results showed that the blobs were pretty dense and could be composed of iron and have similarities to primordial material. While geochemists are analyzing the chemical composition of lava samples to help determine what role blobs could play on volcanoes. So evidently, more research is needed to demystify the blobs before we make any conclusions. What's important to keep in mind is that each of the earlier ideas may present a different picture of Earth's inner workings and the role the blobs could play on our planet which is why these regions are so scientifically interesting. They can tell us very different things about the planet, from its earliest beginnings, to the magnetic field, to even supervolcanoes. But until Brendan Fraser figures out a way to journey back to the center of the Earth, we'll use the techniques at our disposal to reveal the mysterious blobs wrapped around the heart of our planet. Come on, Brendan, we're counting on you. If you like this episode, let us know if there are any other mysterious science phenomenon you'd like us to cover down in the comments. Make sure to subscribe, and thanks for watching.